You know, take it away. Yes, you know, I am standing inside of the Birla Planetorium, very uh, famous center for science and space. We are joined by so many people and one, uh, people are, uh, you know, scientists are closely watching this moon mission and all. And let us ask some questions. One Sharma is there, one scientist, let us ask some questions. Sir, how do you feel about this moon mission? Uh, well, it's an interesting mission, one for its science uh, goals. Well, we are planning, we're planning to uh, look at something which is uh, from the inner solar system. The two parts of the solar system, one is the inner solar system, the other is an outer solar system. So there are two models of planet formation theory. One, we say that moon was formed during uh, when Earth was formed. Uh, so that is basically uh, the standard model. Then there's something called a migrating embryo model, uh, which uh, where we say the, the once the star um, uh, migrates as an embryo and it roams around, there's a certain disruption which happens. And the third theory says that there was something which uh, which was there, which which hit Earth, and then eventually uh, the, this lump was f uh, formed using core collapse. So what, when we are sitting on uh, on uh, on Moon with the Chandrayaan two, we're actually deciphering how Moon was. Formed, and that will be a great leap of faith. Now, how can it be a great leap? Uh, can we send humans also in the future? And wha in what way it is going to be helpful for the See, uh, 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 moon is the nearest celestial body. And because of that, our high uh, technology, fantastic technology can be used on moon as a test bed. And uh, from once it, it passes through that celestial body, we can go into deep space missions. And if we are looking at sending, uh, you know, colonizing moon by 2100, that's not a big deal. Then uh, what will happen after this midnight because this uh, uh, rover Vikram is going to land it? Is it going to be successful or any uh, problems are there? Well, I see no reason why it can't be successful. See, science doesn't work on faith. Science works on facts. And as far as I know, facts are fantastic. And because they are streamlined and to the point, I see absolutely no reason why it will fail. Okay, then, uh, you know, is it useful for uh, the, the Indian uh, subcontinent? Because, you know, some scientists, uh, we talk to, they criticize that uh, it's waste of money, some scientists are saying. See, um, when Michael Faraday discovered uh, induction, and then somebody asked him, how will it help people? So Michael Faraday said that, uh, I don't know, but someday you will tax it. Uh, physicists wanted to talk to each other, that's why the internet was born and the World Wide Web was born. So if you say how these things will change, we don't know, but certainly one day government will tax it. Sir, uh, te uh, tell us uh, on what will happen after uh, this Vikram lander lands on the moon's uh, southern surface. It is very complex surface as, as far as it is not, uh, uh, sun rays have not been on the earth for billions of years. And what will happen after once See, landing? See, once the lander lands, once the maneuver is very important, once it lands properly and the rover comes out, what we are primarily trying to look at, see, the, the reason why South Pole is important, because of course, as you said, the sunlight has not been there, it's about 70 degrees south. And interestingly, because sunlight hasn't been there, we are looking at an astro-archaeological phenomena. Where, as I said earlier, we are looking at what happened deep in space and during the planet formation theory. We might be looking at some paradise shift in another 15 days. Then, uh, is it going to be the first of its kind for India? Is it uh, above US and other uh, states uh, as far as this moon mission is concerned? Because we are landing on the southern pole. Well, that is not an interesting question. Of course, uh, we are landing on Southern Pole, that's fantastic. But undermining other efforts wouldn't be a good case because science work on, works on collaborations and we have collaboration with Chandiran too. It's an indigenous project, it's fantastic, but it has other people also contributing. So yes, it will be, be a great leap of faith for Indian science, but when we say is it better than anything, um, well, it's a great endeavor that we've done, of course, but there have been other people and other countries who've done great work. So we are joining the league, we'll become the fourth country to land on, uh, successfully land on moon. And that's a great thing to happen. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Uh, uh, Sharma says that it is going to be a big leap for the Indian space sector and it is going to help the uh, poor also. Someday we are going to colonize moon also. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.